Yes, guys. Yes, people. We're back for another video. Welcome back to the channel. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification button if you guys haven't done so already. Get yourself that hat trick for the channel because we know Chelsea aren't going to do it. Um, only one place to start. Obviously, you guys already know the situation regarding Pochettino. Chelsea and Poch are in final talks. They look very close to reaching an agreement. They're discussing the future plans for the club, Pochettino's style of play, the players that he's, he would like to keep, the players that he would like to sell as well. There's one player that's popped up, uh, which has been reported by Matt Law, that I don't think anybody really wants to see wear the royal blue of Chelsea Football Club. There's nobody that would really want to see this guy back at Cobham. I know we've we've run the R9 gimmick and everything, and I do want to issue yet another apology to the original Ronaldo for disgracing his nickname like that. I'm sorry, please forgive me. But as you guys can already tell from the title, from that as well, we're talking about Lukaku. We're talking about Lukaku, and it's been reported that Chelsea will ask Lukaku whether or not he wants to revive his Chelsea career under Pochettino, as the club have not yet ruled out the possibility of a return. Which is very interesting, seeing as a couple months ago, we were hearing that Lukaku was not going to be returning back to Chelsea under any circumstances while Potter was in charge. Maybe things have changed because now we have a competent coach in charge. But it's alarming news for a lot of people because nobody wants to see Luca Potamus back at Stamford Bridge. But we're going to try and be measured about this. I want to talk about the pros and the cons, look at it from all sides of the coin. And yeah, you lot make your decision. Let me know in the comment section below whether you want to see Lukaku stay, whether you want to see Lukaku leave. Do you think he deserves another chance, a third chance? Because... Like, I know people are saying, oh, we'll give him a second chance and everything. Nope, he already had that. He's been at Chelsea twice and he's failed at Chelsea both times. So we need to be objective about this. Lukaku, in terms of the guy that we have seen at Chelsea, the mentality, the mindset, this guy is as toxic as nuclear waste, if we want to be real about it. This guy is very egocentric. Very sensitive, very sensitive to criticism. Doesn't really track his body and his weight the way that he should do. So one day he's slim, the next day he's fat. Um, his touch is atrocious, if I'm putting it nicely. Like, it's just straight dead if we want to be real about it. Um, not really a lot of movement in the final third. Not great link-up play. But one thing I will say as a positive, is that Pochettino likes to play with attacking patterns of play. And I do think that suits Lukaku well. It's very similar to the way Conte trained him. If you if you work on their patterns of play and you just tell them where and what positions to occupy, where to run to at the right moment, where to be at the right spot at the right time, I do think you could get something out of him. I do think as well, there are better creators in the team and we're going to be getting more players in as well. You're going to have the likes of Enzo, the likes of Mudrik, the likes of Madweki, um, Jao Felix if he can keep his head up. Maybe even the likes of a Havertz or Mount if they stay. Rhys James, Chilwell, Malogusto on the wings as well. There are going to be options for him. The biggest issue with Lukaku when he was at Chelsea was not before the before the interview and all the off the pitch bs and everything my problem was that Lukaku would make runs from the midfield and the midfield would just straight ignore him every single time i'd watch Lukaku make a run and you'd have Jorginho overplaying it taking too many touches or Kante would be doing it or Kovacic would be doing it or um Loftus Cheek would be doing it Everybody did it. Everybody was culpable. Mount, Havertz, all of them. Everybody was culpable. And that held us back. Whether people like to admit it, whether people like to look at it from that side of the coin or not, that did hold him back. And I do think that also played a part in his motivation. With the likes of Enzo Fernandez in the midfield, potentially um, a, what's his name, Lavia or... Um, Kone or whatever midfielder we bring in as well because we're looking at midfielders too. 
I think with the right patterns of play, you can be able to find Lukaku in the right positions. Pochettino is also very heavy on fitness. So he will not take Lukaku being a fat piece of crap like he's been for us the last year the last year he's been at Chelsea. He won't take that. He will he will force him to slim down and he will get him into the right shape. He will get him the right mentality as well. So I can't lie. I'm looking at this from three separate variables. Does Inter Milan want him or not? If Inter wants him, send him back there for another year. If they don't want him, we have a 325k a week problem on our hands that we need to try and solve and we need to be realistic about it. Lukaku is the next thing. Does Lukaku want to turn things around? Is Lukaku willing to leave his ego by the door? Is he willing to apologise to Chelsea fans for the way he handled the interview? And also, I know people are going to say, oh, he apologised afterwards. I'm not listening to this PR interview that Chelsea made him do three days after the interview dropped. I don't care. Fact is, Damasio said in June at the end of last season that Lukaku had spent all of 2022 after that apology trying to speak to Inter directors, speak to the manager at the time, players at the time, doing everything he can to try and force a move. So he has to apologise for that too. If he does that, then we look to Pochettino. Does Pochettino want him? Does he want to get the does he want to take Lukaku on? Does he think he can get the best out of him? Is he vital to Chelsea progressing next season? If he is, we have to back the manager. This is the key point as well. Regardless of the other two, this goes down to Pochettino. If Poch wants Lukaku and he thinks he can get the best out of him, you have to back him. I know people are going to say as well, oh, but what if he wants to keep Mount? What if he wants to keep Havertz? I know you don't like them. If he wants to keep them, keep them. Keep them. We keep saying for how long the manager needs to have control. Let the manager have the control. Keep who you want to keep. If Lukaku is the man that you want at Chelsea then you got to give it to Lukaku. Let's see if he can let's see if he can make it work. Hell, he might want a Bamiyang. We don't know. Whatever he wants, we need to give the manager his first year, let him build the team in his own image and then judge him. If we're already going to come out of here and say no, no, we'll give you what you want but not him or we'll give you what you want but not this guy. We're going to give you this player instead. What's changed from the old regime? Because that was what we complained about with the likes of Marina when we were talking about like the 2017 transfer window, for example, where Conte wanted a bunch of first teamers. We gave him a bunch of B or C list options because we were too stingy with the first class option. We don't want to do that. So we need to be realistic about this. If Chelsea want Lukaku, if Lukaku is willing to apologize and to try and make things work, and he's also worth his weight in goals and assists. We have to put everything back to the side because what matters first is Chelsea Football Club. Whether people like it or not, whatever matters first is whatever's better for the club. I know Lukaku comes with his issues and everything like that. I totally understand that. But if Pochettino thinks he can make him work, I low-key think he's capable of it. Only because I don't believe he's going to let Lukaku be unfit. He's just not going to play him if that's the case. I don't believe... He's going to, I don't believe there's going to be players behind him that are just going to ignore his runs like that, hap like that happened with us before. I think things are in a much better situation where we could potentially get a better player. And if that's the case, it means we don't have to go out and spend 100 million on another striker. It means there's just one right there. Because we don't know what's happening with Ivan Tony with the whole betting situation. Is he going to get banned? Yes or no? I keep saying, good luck trying to take anybody from that Napoli title winning team. They're already hard enough to negotiate with. Vlahovic, there might be a chance for, but like I, he doesn't really wow me if I'm being real about it. Same thing with David, same thing with Kolo Muwani. So, if Lukaku's there, if the right circumstances are there too, let it run. Let it run. I don't see any issues with it. But let me know what you guys are saying down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Chelsea Fan. See, this is the thing. I'm so used to doing videos for Chelsea Fan TV. I was going to tell you guys to sub there. But same way, still sub there. Show them some love. Like, subscribe. But also like and subscribe to my channel as well.
do all of that. Hit the bell notification button. We'll be back tomorrow afternoon for the Brentford preview. We're going to do a live stream for that. And yeah, we'll see you lot then. Take care, like, subscribe, and as always, up the Chelsea.